so great. How so, soft or how firm. It's so important. Sorry. <laughs> Hello everyone. It's been a while. Welcome to a new video. So we recently changed rooms in our apartment because one of our roommates moved out and this is the bigger room and we got a brand new king size bed and I'm very happy about it. I mean, we're both over six feet, like well over six feet tall. So the two of us sharing a full size bed just was not Cutting it. No, I had a full size bed growing up for one person, and yes. then when we moved in together, um, we shared a full size bed together. <laughs> and I'm closer to seven foot than I am to six foot, and I just couldn't do it anymore. No, no offense. No, of course I not. I mean, it was nice to cuddle every night. We but weren't getting any good space. nights, like solid sleep. No, not at all. No. We'd wake up and be like, you were on top of me last night. We were moody and resentful. So we're gonna share with all of you the five tips we think are very important to remember when getting a good night's rest. Number one, the amount of time that you sleep. For most people, it's like eight hours. I know for James, it's eight hours, for sure. So I like to nine. get a solid eight, but I can survive off of six. <laughs> I can 100% survive off of six. When, when I was growing up, six hours was like my magic number. So when I get eight hours, it's like weird. But I just feel like as I get older, eight just makes more sense. True, I guess. But it's really important to get a good amount of sleep every single night and know how much sleep you require, because everybody's different. Number two, don't eat before you sleep. The this, munchies. Yeah, I only say this because I get late night munchies and then I'm full before I go to bed and I'm not comfortable and I'm tossing and turning, trying to get comfortable. Just don't eat. Don't eat. <laughs> well, before you sleep, don't eat. <laughs> like, like I would say like an hour before you go to bed, don't have anything to eat. I know for us, we like sweets and we like having candy and chocolate. That's probably the worst thing to eat before you go to sleep because of the amount of sugar. Or anything acidic. It gets you so much energy in your yeah. body when you eat that kind of stuff that it's just not good for when you go to sleep. What we do think you should have before you go to sleep, James likes a glass of water. And I always have, <coughs> oh look, a sippy cup. A sippy cup. It's nice to have, a, it's just comfort for me to have a glass of water. Well, I like, drinking like a hot tea, like chamomile tea, and they also have sleepy time tea, which I really like, and that helps me relax and calm down and get ready for bed. Because you don't want to be wired and crazy, Dude. and especially on like caffeine and sugar when you go to sleep. Number three, don't play on your cell phone or computer before you go to bed. Yeah, just turn off all of your devices. It's enough of a distraction in your daily life. You don't need it when you're unwinding to go to sleep. Right, and last night, James had this problem because his eyes were going crazy. But I wasn't on my com I wasn't on my You phone were on, on your computer. phone. No, we were watching Unreal on Hulu. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the light makes your eyes go crazy and it stimulates your vision that when you close your eyes, your eyes are still wired and ready to focus that it's not good to relax that way. Right. What I do recommend is like reading a nice book or a magazine or talking Things to that'll your make significant your eyes other sleepy. if you have one next to you. <laughs> Number four. We find it very helpful to be on a constant schedule. Like keep a routine with your sleeping habits, whether it's going to bed before midnight or waking up by nine o'clock in the morning. Just keeping a constant routine is good. Well, there's days where we'll go to bed super late, like three in the morning, and then we'll wake up at 11 or noon, and it's like, you're all crazy the next day. And for us, 1 a.m. seems average. Is average for us. Going to bed at 1 a.m. and waking up around nine, 9.30 is uh, like an ideal situation for us, which we try to stay on that kind of routine. Um, but it's just really important to set a schedule for your sleep because if you have that schedule, you're gonna get better amount of sleep, you're gonna get quality sleep, you're gonna just be fully rested when you wake up and your face and your body will just thank you because you won't look like a hot mess. Thank you, body. Number five. This is something that we recently changed. We got a brand new king size mattress from Helix Mattress. Oh my god. And it has made a world of our difference oh, when it comes to our sleeping pattern, our sleeping habits. God. Like we didn't realize that 
sleeping on a full size mattress before and how like it did not do us any justice. Oh, it affected us more than we thought mm -hmm. now that we have this king size mattress. This bed is so comfortable. We took this online quiz on their website. It made a mattress that perfectly custom, custom for fit for our, our personalities, our sleep habits. And the first night we slept on it was so amazing. And I, I will be the first one to admit that I'm not a morning person. Everyone in my life could tell you that. But waking up the next morning after having a full night's sleep on a Helix mattress, I was ready to just take the day on. Like I was not negative Conquer in the, the morning. Day. I just had more of a boost of energy to my morning. For us, it's kind of like two full beds pushed together so that for the first 30 minutes when you're sleeping, you can cuddle. And be cute. And then like, okay, go away. I'm gonna spread no, out don't my touch legs. Me. It's time to and sleep. push my legs way far <laughs> out and sleep really nice and comfy for me. I definitely recommend the Helix mattress. So great. How so, soft or how firm. It's so important. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just really important that you invest in a really nice mattress for yourself because sleep is what helps you have a good day, helps you have a good attitude, helps you wake up nice and refreshed and feel alive. Have a more positive outlook if on there's things. one thing that I'm willing to spend money on, it's a nice mattress and so happy we got this Helix mattress, y'all. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. These are our top five tips on how to get a really good night. Really good, good night's night. Sorry. Good night's night. Really good night's sleep. And we hope that you will take these into consideration when you sleep. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you want to look at Helix mattress, the link is down below and you can find their website. You can go take their quiz and get yourself a really nice mattress. And Zoe's ball is so loud. Hey! Shh, Zoe, hush. Okay, bye everybody. Bye. <laughs> Ow! Oh, did I really hit you in the eye? Oh, that really hurt. Oh no. That really hurt.